Welcome everyone to another shave video. It's Michael Friedberg here again from beautiful North Carolina. The weather is fantastic today. Beautiful sunny Sunday. Daylight savings time, a little screwed up on the time, but no matter, still time for a shave. I'm going to be doing a couple different things today. I've had some questions about pre and post shave routines. So I'm going to talk briefly about what I'm doing for my pre shave. I'm also going to be uh, demonstrating a different razor that I'll be using all of the month of March. It is the uh, a big light uh, vintage slant. Uh, I'm also going to be using the Verhulde Hand Scherstaff, the shave stick, um, which I'll be trying to uh, to work my way through entirely until I move on to the next soap. Um, so let me go ahead and just get started and talk to you about the two pre-shaves I'll use. I'll use a pre-shave on one side and a pre-shave oil on the other and get a feel for the for the two differences. So before I wet my face, talk about product number one, which I've used before, Vitos pre-shave. Looks sort of like a skin cream. It has menthol and camphor smell. Um, it goes on quite easily. It does not soak into the skin like a skin balm. So we'll talk about that for the uh, for the post shave. Second product is the Floyd pre shave oil, also described as a shave oil. I know there are people that uh, apply just this and then shave just with the uh, just with the oil. I've tried that and was not comfortable for me, but it may work for it may work for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to apply the pre-shave to one side, the oil to the other, talk briefly about the uh, the razor, and then lather and get going. This will be a quick, hopefully quick, two-pass shave just to try to keep the, keep the time down. So let me wet my face. I've done no additional uh, pre-work, no hot shower, no hot towel. This is just a straight up get in here and shave. Okay, as you can see, my face is pretty good and wet. I'm gonna take a little bit, just a dab, and just apply the pre-shave, the Vitos pre-shave to one side. Now, as you can see, this does not soak into your skin like an aftershave balm. It's definitely uh, meant to provide a slick protective layer. When you get it on and then you wet it again, you can definitely feel how how slippery and how slick this is. All right, I just work it in. Done. There you go. Now, for the pre-shave oil. I'm just going to apply just a few, just a few drops. The bottle says seven to 10 for your whole face. You know, that's about right. Same routine, just work it in. I tend to rub more against, just to try to really work it into the hair if I can. Now, what I have found, there's two things to look out for. The first is that the pre-shave, just the cream, really only lasts for one full pass, and then it's pretty much gone. The pre-shave oil will certainly last for more than a pass. Certainly easily to the second, you'll see when I rinse, you'll see this will still be a bit wet and oily. And this will be essentially washed off. The shave stick. Now, the other thing to bear in mind, which I'm just gonna wet the tip before I start applying it, the other thing to think about for the pre-shaves is that some pre-shaves do potentially interact with the soap that you're using. So you may find, for example, that a pre-shave that you like is in fact actually causing you to lose a bit of lather, or maybe the lather doesn't lather doesn't last. So and you should see when I put this on that on the oily side, the soap soap does not take as well. And that makes sense because there is an oily an oily barrier. So you just have to press a little bit harder. The shave stick, don't be shy. Keep wetting the tip, keep applying it. Done. Okay. So 
Now, get my brush going. I'm gonna start lathering. I'll talk about the uh, talk about the razor. Relatively dry brush for the shave stick. I'm just gonna start. This is the oil side. And the pre-shave side. Well, you can see a little bit of a difference. My experience is that with the pre-shave oil, it does have a bit of an impact on the lather that you build. You just have to take your time. Let my brush. This is the, maybe the third or fourth time I've used this uh, this shaving stick. It's a gift from Danny Van Royen. It's got a really nice light scent to it. Very clean, soapy smell. Not heavily perfumed, and certainly not heavily perfumed once it goes on. All right, there you can go. Just a touch more water. There we go. That's for Daniel Holloway. Thank you, sir. So here, here's the big light or the vintage plastic slant. Uh, this is a very different style razor. You can see from the head that the razor blade is actually twisted at an angle. And that helps it actually sort of slice through in a very clean way through the hair. Um, this is a standard Mercure 23C straight edge. And you can see how much that blade is twisted. There's also a fair amount of blade exposure. Didn't say exposure, see? And you can also see that the shape of the head is sort of quite round and sticks out quite a bit and I'll tell you where this causes a bit of trouble for me it's something to bear in mind if you're looking for a similar razor it has a brand new washcloth blade in there I've used a number of different blades in there some blades in this razor only last in two shades where they might otherwise last two but or three potentially but before I get started cheers by the way nice shot of tequila to get this shape going For those of you who drink chocolate wine before theirs, it's another way to go. Okay. The entire month of March, this is the razor I'm using. I have seen some comments about being careful because this is plastic and trying to screw it on. It does have a small brass thread in there, but it is plastic. So I can definitely see that you want to be careful. Not over screw this, not make this too tight. Hair off the brush. For some reason, that smoke has been shedding a little bit lately. This is a very, very light razor, so you have to resist the temptation to press down. It is cutting very efficiently and very easily. Okay, shave oil side, pre shave side. Pre-shave side feels, in fact, a little bit slicker, a little less resistance. I found that in general, the oil is sort of heavier and it's definitely lubricating, but I don't find it as, as slick in a way, but I will say that for a heavier beard growth, that oil is a great way to go. This is three days growth. People have described this as a very efficient razor. I definitely understand what they mean. It is 
very clean and easy. And you don't feel the need to make too many sort of extra passes as I make an extra pass there. Here's where it gets trouble for me. The size of that head and the way that the blade is available from the head makes this part under the nose a little bit tricky. The other thing I found is that psychologically, because that blade is twisted, you sort of have the first couple of times a tendency to want to turn the uh, turn the razor to straighten it, as it were. That quickly passes. Just shave with it normally, completely fine. Okay. Pass number one. So when I rinse now, I'm just going to compare what's left from the shave oil and the pre-shave. So on this side, this is still pretty slick, a little less so on this side. And definitely under here, less of that pre-shave. You can still feel a bit of the oil here. Lather up. A little touch of water, which I always do on top of the brush, just to get that first bit of lather going again. Otherwise, just in general, things are going great. Things at work are busy, but not too crazy busy. The chickens are doing fantastic. We got two uh, two new ones a couple weeks ago. Those have integrated very nicely. One is a black and white chicken called a barred rock. The other is called a sex link because you can actually tell the sex from the color of the feathers. And that is a very handy thing when you're trying to sex chicks and not provide people with roosters, but provide them with with hens. All right, no real difference in the ladder there. Quick, pass number two. People have also been able to uh, recently go through quite a number of rather spectacular trades, boot sale finds, antique store finds. Love seeing those pictures of the crazy stuff people end up picking up. It's always good to see what catches a particular person's fancy. So on the side with the pre-shave oil, definitely still a little bit slicker. You can definitely still feel some of the shave oil there. The pre-shave cream, that's pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. But, you know, in the scheme of things, it is that first pass that probably matters the most. So the fact that it doesn't last through passes two and three probably is not a disaster by any stretch. I have had some interesting comments on some previous videos about the fact that I seem to be violating holy rules of shaving handed down through the centuries. because I was mixing and matching against the grain, with the grain, across the grain. Sort of like that line from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's really more like a guideline. 
you know, shape what fits your hair pattern and how much time you have, how much effort you want to put into it. All right. Very quick. Just so you can see. This is going to be a very quick sort of across. There we go. I have to say this is a extremely fun to use razor. It is light, it's easy, there's no effort. It feels like it's hard to cut yourself with. I've had one nick because I was just being careless and rushing in the morning. Um, but otherwise, it's a really easy, surprisingly good, very, very close shave. That's very, very good. All right, let me rinse off. <laughs> Okay, well, so now, now you're done, what now? I think one of the most frequent questions, I know a question I certainly have when I got started was, so do you put the aftershave on now and then the aftershave balm or then the balm and then the aftershave because there's this issue about what should go on first and what should last longer in terms of scent? Well, what I do is I do the aftershave splash it on. I don't slap my face too crazy. And then eat breakfast, I come back, I brush my teeth, and then I put the aftershave balm on because I found that for some of the ones I used, particularly the Queen Charlotte Key Lime Balm, if I put that on right after something like the Floyd Suave aftershave, which by the way is fantastic, highly recommended, I would make, would sort of make me sweat and my upper lip would just be wet. So if you give it a little bit and let the aftershave dissipate and then put the aftershave balm on after a little bit, I found that that problem for me dissipated. Now, one thing I've tried, which I want to just demonstrate here as well, is that the Vitos, like the Prorazzo, is listed as a pre and post shave. Crema pre e dopo barba. Now, what I've done, and I'm just going to try this just so you can just, as in, so you can see. What I did, although I have no instructions for this, is I put it back on that may even be just a little bit too much, but I, I'm gonna do it just on one half. See, I think you could leave it just like that and have it sort of soak into your skin. But what I did was I put it on and then I rinsed with water right after it and rinsed it off and it felt fantastic. Very cooling, very soothing. Okay. A bit of aftershave. There's only one that I'm using right now. Spike for men. Beautiful, smooth, no irritation shave. In the end, there's not much of a difference in terms of dryness of skin because of the oil or the pre-shave. I don't think in that regard it makes much of a difference. That tends to be more the soap that you're using causes that dryness. Easy and smooth. Now,
this is the aftershave bomb I'm using now. This is a, uh, a very traditional bomb. It's in a sort of hard to use tube, at least I found this a bit hard to use. It's hard to get out of this tube cleanly. Um, and it's also easy to get out a little too much, but the bomb itself works amazingly well, goes in easily. Very soothing, and on top of everything else, the scent is fantastic. So if you're on the fence about the, the spike bomb, you might be balking because of the price a little bit. I think that that tube is going to last quite a while and very good value for the money. You don't need much at all. The scent is fantastic. Highly, highly recommended. Okay, so that's it for the for the post shave. I rinsed. I applied some of the aftershave, the Doppler Barba, just as a just as a you know an additional experiment. Try it, see if it works for you. Uh, and then once I was done, aftershave splash first, and then the balm, and that's the order in which I do it. Some people take balm and they mix it in with the aftershave itself. That seems to work out great as well. Experiment and see what works for you. That's how I'm doing it. So let me just recap, gents, for what we've used today. Number one, the shave stick from Paul de Hunt. Scherstaff shave stick. I have a feeling that that's going to last quite a while. I don't know how quickly that's gonna go, but I'm gonna tear through this thing. For the two, two pre-shave options, Hope you can see that in Vitos, which I like really quite a bit. This is sort of my daily uh, pre-shave and the Floyd uh, pre-shave oil, which I use if I have a couple days growth. Finally, the vintage slant. This is just a really fun razor to use. It's small, it's plastic. It has a kind of a funky shaped head, which is bigger than I thought it would be. But the slant shape of this razor shaves really, really well. You have to get used to the fact that it's lighter and the handle is a little short for me. I did, on the advice of another member of the Big Shave, swap out the handle from the Mercure 23C onto here. That fit great, the exact same, uh, same screw size, but I actually found that the weight of that handle, the length, in fact, didn't work so well with this, uh, with this razor. So I've just gone back to uh, how it came out of the package. I think that's it, gentlemen. Otherwise, I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more advice and help on traditional wet shaving, if you'd like to join a Facebook group dedicated to that, come join the Big Shave. There should be a link in the, uh, in the YouTube video for that. And otherwise, thank you all very much. Hope it's all going well. Remember, keep your shaves nice and smooth. And until next time, thanks, guys. Bye, everybody.